It's well documented. The city of Belen has a problem with flooding. Now it's facing a new water issue, a giant sinkhole that shows the city's main storm drain has rotted out. As News 13's Rachel Knapp found out, it is going to cost a lot to fix. It's been about a year, huh? It's been a year, yeah. At least a year. These Belen locals say after the city was hit with heavy rain last year, an unexpected problem surfaced near their backyard. And we noticed a fence was hanging down. So I walked over to take a look at it, and that's when I noticed that big old sinkhole. In a lot by the middle school, hidden behind the bamboo, there is a five foot wide sinkhole. There's also a second one that's about, I want to say about three foot in diameter, that goes sideways. City officials say they were called to the area about a month ago, and they stumbled upon an even bigger problem than just the hole. Well, right here, just be careful. The sinkhole revealed that the city's main stormwater drain is broken and rotted out. So that's when I pulled the alarm, saying it's more than just vegetation. Uh, we have problems with the drainage. Belen has a network of drains that lead to this main one. Yes, Runoff from the mesa the also gets funneled through the drain where the sinkhole is, mm. so it can get pushed through to the river. A broken pipe like this could cause major problems. Well, it slows down all your drainage, and uh, the harder faster the rain falls, of course, it accumulates on properties, on businesses, and we don't want that to happen. And especially in a town where they already fear the wet weather because it could lead to flooding, this broken pipe is an unwelcome surprise. That was kind of upsetting. I mean, I was like, that's our backyard, and they're blocking it off, and there's not really much we can do. Rachel Knapp, KRQB News 13. Now the city says it wants to start fixing it soon, but they have no idea how big of a problem it is until they get underground and check it. They've already estimated it will cost about $200,000 to fix just that section.